Hello, welcome to Acts of Kindness. We are playing the Old World Blues, Hearts of Iron 4. I haven't recorded in a few weeks. Been kind of busy with life. It happens. I'm liking all these visuals and these comments, or the, I'm sorry, these quotes from uh, people inside of Fallout. I'm excited. I've never played this before. It's the first time I've loaded it up. Rusty graphics. <laughs> Canoe travel? Oh my goodness. I have no expectations. I have not seen any videos. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. So I guess we're playing this scenario. Old World Blues, atomic fire scorched the earth in the year 2077, and humanity has yet to fully recover. Desperate struggles erupt across North America as the sane fight for their lives against hordes of insane and depraved raiders. Monolithic giants such as the New California Republic and Kaisar's Legion seek to expand their grasp, whilst the technocratic and secretive Brotherhood of Steel scour the ruins others forget. Despite all the chaos, one thing remains certain. War, war never changes. Um, I'm gonna have to be the the Brotherhood of Steel. That's just that's my guys right there. Uh, land fort, coastal fort, air fort, or I'm sorry, anti air. Um, focus on defense. That's not that bad. What are some of the other ones? Um, oh, nothing for them really. Okay, Kaiser. Partisans, 25%. Foreign sub subversive activities, 30. Non core manpower, plus 2%. Focus on offense, 60%. That's pretty damn good. Division, organization, national unity. Oh, that's all pretty good stuff. Um, Mr. House, I don't see anything really going on there. Same thing with New Canaan. Snake Vargas. Desert Rangers. Uh, Mr. Bishop, New Reno. Other countries. <laughs> okay, what else do we got here? Bunker Blues, Factory Bomb Vulnerability, Negative 60 Trade Deal. Negative 50, foreign subversive, uh, effective partisans. That's not bad at all. Um, Trading is going to be a problem, apparently. 3% recruitable population. Hmm. So we're trying to... So I guess we're going to be on the West Coast here. <clears throat> intellectuals, ruling party intellectuals. We're just going to do a recruit for now, uh, just because this is my first time playing through. National focuses in historic order. Okay. Yeah, let's just jump right in here. My goodness, they have a lot of states. Looks like these are all tribals. Maybe not all of them. New Reno there, New California Republic. The Scorpions, the Two Suns, Sorrows, Delta, the 80s, Crazy Horns, the White Legs. There you go. The Navajo Nation. The Vipers, the Jackals. Super Heavy Barge. I guess that's a boat. And Power Armor and Basic Firearms. Wow, this, uh, this tech screen is very interesting. Seaplane, Siege Ship. Naval Invasion, 
landing canoes. <laughs> they do have canoes. Super heavy barge, sailing ship, outrigger canoe, infantry training, pipe guns, basic firearms, basic melee, slashing, powered weapons. Ooh, we go. I want my power fists going on. Uh, armor, leather armor, metal, flare guns, herbal bandages, power armor. Here we go. Scavenged power armor. We already have the T-45D. We absolutely need to get up to the T-51B, but uh, 1,700 days is going to be quite a long time. Only oh, got uh, variations here? What is this? Basic power armor defense. Basic power armor initiative. Okay, interesting. They have scavenged power armor with the same thing here. 10 speed, reliability. Special Forces, Spec Ops, Marsh Training, <clears throat> Hill Training, Plains Training, Herbal Bandages, okay, Combat Supplies, <clears throat> Common Firearms, Common Energy, Overcharge, Basic Infantry Equipment, Advanced, Advanced, Guerrilla Tactics, Defense Breakthrough, Defense Breakthrough, okay. Support weapons, looks like we got the same thing, maintenance, logistics, signals, reconnaissance, dynamite, huh? Precise targeting of explosive shells, soft attack up, fire gecko pouch. Looks like these lead to more advanced weapons, heavy laser muskets, anti-tank. Uh, PMGs, pipe machine guns, trained mongrels, oh my goodness, you train up animals to fight with you, healing powder, stim packs, there we go, yeah, salvage launchers, RRs, flamers, mortars, do we have anything else in this tree, this tree is absolutely massive, uh, howitzers, incinerator, Gatling lasers. There you go. That's what daddy needs right there. Some mini guns, cyber dogs. Oh, yes. I need my cyber rex. Auto injectors. Very interesting tech tree going on here. Ooh, scrap motorcycles. Scrap cars. Scrap tanks. APCs. Trucks. What do we have over here? Great War Trucks, APC Tank. Oh, we got Battle Wagons. <clears throat> what are these? 80s War Bikes, Legion Motor Chariots, Testudo APCs, Ranger Harley Davidsons, Super Mutant Behemoth. That's what I need right there. Oh, I need a Super Mutant Civilization? Really? Battle Wagons. Some interesting stuff going on here. Tactics. I'll have to go through all these doctrines at some point. Scrap fighter, transport fighter, dive bomber. A nuclear salvaged fighter. <clears throat> dive bomber, bomber. Mortar battery zeppelin. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we absolutely need a battle zeppelin. Because we're going to be the Brotherhood of Steel, right? Of course. A nuclear super fortress. Oh my goodness. A laser battery zeppelin. Hmm, the ZN-85 fighter. The VBO-2 gunship. And the VBO-2 transport. Cargo zeppelin. My goodness. Very, very interesting stuff. Canoe, ship. Oh, we already looked at this. Robotics. Awesome. Protectron. Mark II. Oh, yeah, we need to get some Mr. Gutsies going. Some Robo Brains Sentry Bots. Absolutely get some Sentry Bots. Ooh, Securitrons. Securitrons are pretty damn dang good. Excuse me. Uh, potato farming, Brahmin milking, 
manufacturing, basic forges, primitive workshops, oral instruction, production efficiency. Uh, here's my extraction and my construction, habitation, military to civilian factory conversion cost, and population increase. Hmm, not bad at all. Uh, ooh, water, of course, in the nuclear wasteland. We'll need some water. <clears throat> some electricity and some metal smelting. Foundry, state level two, power station. Okay, so this is all infrastructure related kind of stuff. Anything unique going on? Not that I can see. Uh, okay, let's see. We got radio detection, radio. Here's our research stuff. Encryption, decryption. Um, looks like they didn't update this over here because they still got water, electricity, and metal, and all that stuff. Fuel. Oh my goodness. What do we got? Nothing. Oh wow. Um, okay, looks like our radar tech. Yeah, just keeps going over there. All right. So what do we have? to work on here. We've got four slots. Um, I know that uh, defense breakthrough. We are going to be defense oriented, so let's go ahead and do that one first. Um, we got our basic firearms. These are muskets. We do have our power armor. Let's see, combat supplies. And some extra defense, let's do that too. Uh, let's get over here and take care of some infrastructure related stuff. Let's get our research time up. And let's do that one too. No, we can't do that one yet. We need the, this one first, um, but we can come over here, take a look at some of the other things, um, factory output, more factories in a state, recruitable population. Let's start going down this road. We are a year ahead of time, maybe not. This one looks good. Production efficiency is always good. Okay, we'll just start off like that. Uh, free civilian factories. Um, so, okay, so it looks like we're split up here. We've got some stuff over here in San Francisco, some stuff down here in the Lost Hills area, Santa Barbara, Maxon's Knights. Power Armor Company. Looks like they've got scavenged power armor with energy rivals. Just basic power armor. The Golden Gate Knights. Silicon Valley Knights. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks they looks like they're decent over here. Um, is that all we have is power armor? It looks like all we got is power armor, yeah. Lost Hills. No divisions in basic training, no national focus. Oh my goodness, let's check out this focus tree. Massive, absolutely massive focus tree here. Acquires old America. So it looks like that's what we got to start here. Delivering justice on October 10th, 2077, less than a week before nuclear fire destroyed all that was and had been, Robert Maxson and his followers descended upon the West Tech facility in hopes of finding resources and supplies. Instead, they found a freak show, the nightmarish realm of FEV and mad scientists. Robert was furious. What he decided to do with these madmen would echo through the centuries. So that will give us an event, Delivering Justice. 
Uh, we do have some free dockyards. Doesn't look like we have any boats going up right now. We do have the super heavy barge. Let's just go ahead and build one of those. And uh, let's do some, I think we already have that actually. So we can just, yeah, exit that out. Um, so let's start some power armor. We can get our guys going with some decent power armor. Um, I'm wondering if we should do some firearms and melee weapons or just energy. Let's just do the energy for right now. I think that's all we have available for us, too. Okay, so we are surrounded by the new California Republic. I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, more free military factories? That's good. Yeah. Um, looks like we are advanced technology. Um, do anybody, does anybody have some we can get? Uh, the Mojave chapter? Oh, we also need lots and lots of metal. Um, yeah, I don't know if New California Republic will let us have any, but let's see. Maybe we should um, change our <laughs> production around a little bit. Maybe, just just maybe. Um, yeah, that's using up a lot of metal. Yeah, that's just even further in the hole. Fuel. Looks like we need more fuel. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need it for the armor. I don't know. What would be better? Let's just, I guess, split it in half or roughly half. We'll at least start getting our weapons going. Um, we'll be working on our power armor efficiency. So, ay ay ay, metal, metal, metal. We need metal. I don't think Kaiser would be willing to trade with us. Can we get some fuel, maybe? The Broken Coast? I mean, I guess there's that. We're just really, really low on metal. So we got free civilian factories. Uh, what, what do we want here? We are going to be very, very defensively minded. Um, I'm wondering if we shouldn't just start off right away with some some forts here. Umbra, California Republic. She. We need to get she out of the way. I think that's going to be a focus of ours. Um, well, let's just go ahead and get some more civilian workshops, I guess. Those are always good, and we can convert them over if we have to, but uh, it'll help us with trade as well. And that little one. Okay. I think that's all of our places, so we don't have too much land. Oops. Okay, so we'll leave that. Um, we got unassigned divisions here. So let's go ahead and find out who we got. Oh, we've got just a head paladin and a paladin. Um, okay, well let's let's do this paladin right here.
We'll do regular Paladin right there. All right, no divisions in basic training. All we have is our uh, power armor companies. Let's see, we got very little free manpower. Very little political power. National unity, 70%. Let's just do two of these for now. Yeah, we don't want to overdo it on our population. Um, okay, I think we're good. Let's start this off here. Yep, intellectuals, no elections, core state, stop coring a state. So we can core states. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, auto coring, nothing there. Old guard, recruitable population, resources to market 50%, output is good, research time down. Civilian economy, that's, I'm sure we can do better on that at some point. Captain of industry, civilian factory infrastructure, up 10%. Fortification engineer, up 20% on those. War industrialist, military factory and dockyard. Um, well, I guess those are the only ones we can get. Uh, Robco, armor, research time down 10%. Tank. Armor research time, 10%. Armor reliability up 5%. By selecting this design company, they will permanently affect capabilities on all equipment researched while they are hired. Okay. What do we got? Ship designer, 10%. Uh, research time, 10%. Agility max speed. Agility max speed. Uh, reliability. Strategic bombing, 10% naval aircraft. That one might be a good one. We'll see how things play out. Uh, the Van Graaffs, motorization time, research 10%. Crimson Caravan, weapons and equipment time, research time. Gunrunners, artillery, motorized uh, artillery, and weapons and equipment research. H&H &H tools, we've got industrial research, electronics research, like Electronics research and industrial research. Uh, let's see, naval experience, naval doctrine, army experience, land doctrine, and air experience, air doctrine. Okay, pretty base level. Uh, go ahead and bump this up to three, just so we can get things going a little bit quicker. Currently deficit of both equipment. On October 10th, Captain Maxson and his men discovered to their horror that the West Ex scientists at Mariposa were using military prisoners as unwilling test subjects for their genetically engineered forced evolutionary virus. How he dealt with these scientists would set a precedent for their brotherhood. Where's the pop-up? Come on now. There we go. Uh, okay. Gains national spirit, scribe council, grants uh, max planning 25%, planning speed down 25%. He slew them for there is such a thing as too much science. Paladin Council, max planning 25%, planning speed up 25%. Okay, well then, um, I think I want the Paladin Council. And we'll go with a new national focus, the GLOW 2134. After the formal formation of the Brotherhood of Steel, a splinter faction led by Dennis Allen who was among Maxon's original soldiers, requested permission to return to the West End facility in search of technological artifacts. Understanding fully that this was the most dangerous mission ever presented to the Council, he trusted his good reputation to garner him permission. 
expedition into the glow. What are we using for equipment? Okay, we are using common energy weapons. Bump this up to three again. Yeah, we absolutely need more civilian factories. <laughs> we got 10, 11 from trade. That's just not working. It's not working anymore. Build, build, build. At least our recruiting population is going up. All right. So he was approved. Discovery was worth the risk. Discovery Knights grants 10% land doctrine, uh, division speed plus 5%, and he was denied. Um, max planning up 15%, daily political power gain negative. Uh, you know, I don't. I think this one is better. Discovery Knights, land doctrine, and division speed. And so we got the Vipers. The war with the Vipers was a skirmish like any other. Routine patrols engaging in small and one-sided firefights with random raider gangs. But this time it was different. This time there were casualties. Maxon himself died hours after the engagement, writhing in pain as rad scorpions writhing, writhing in pain as rad scorpions venom claimed him. This painful and horrific death led to outrage among the Brotherhood of Steel. In 2155, the Brotherhood sent a handful of squads out into the wasteland to track the Vipers down. To the Elders, this seemed a glorified training exercise, as they were convinced that a small detachment of Brotherhood troops and power armor would be sufficient to deal with a band of raiders. No matter how large, one Brotherhood squad, led by High Elder Maxim II himself, located the Vipers. Expecting the raiders to break and run at the sight of such a heavily armed force, Maxim did not take into account the viper's zeal and ferocity, or their poisoned weapons. A single arrow nicked the High Elder while he had his helmet off, leading to his death a few hours later. So the Brotherhood retreat, spineless, grants train time negative 10%, division defense on core territory plus 10%. The Brotherhood avenged Maxim, um, vengeful, grants division attack on core territory 10%, division speed. Division attack on core territory. Division speed, 10%. Hmm. Training time down, defense up. Attack up, speed up. Let's, yeah, we're going to do vengeful. And that brings us to the old America. The Brotherhood was not the only pre-war military outfit to survive the end of America. And that became overwhelmingly apparent with the rise of the Enclave. After years of passive observation and subtle maneuvering, the Brotherhood of Steel joined the NCR in the final battle at the Navarro outpost. This was in many ways the opening of a new chapter for the Brotherhood of Steel. So we get unlocked the Battle of Navarro. The war with the Enclave was the greatest opportunity. Let's slow this down. Greatest opportunity the Brotherhood had found in decades. Hundreds of pieces of advanced tech and ancient secrets ripe for the taking. To this end, the Brotherhood brought its full might into the battle, mustering over a thousand paladins from various bunkers and subgroups across the wasteland. However, during the battle, it became apparent that the seeding mass that was the NCR's Grand Army was vastly outmatched and suffering heavy casualties. The moral dilemma of the Brotherhood was paramount. Did they gather technology? Did they follow the Prime Directive? Or did they protect the men and women of the NCR? Those whom only the Brotherhood of Steel could protect. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, if we do this, we get T-51B power armor production costs down 25%. Recruitable population also down 2%. Uh, Maxon's Bulwark, Division Defense 10%, Max Entrenchment plus 
0.01, and we get an event, the Maxim Brigade. I think, I think I want this one. Even though we get uh, production cost negative 25%, that's actually very, very good. The recruitable population is pretty, pretty decent. You know, 2% when we barely have any anyways. Let's see, let's try this. We'll get the Maxim Brigade. The choice to defend the men and women of the NCR was a costly one. Dozens of Brotherhood Paladins giving their lives in heated close quarters combat. Even as the Enclave destroyed hundreds of records and schematics in the depths of the Navarro Bunker, many among the NCR never understood the depth of the sacrifice. The moral turning point for the Brotherhood, that was them finally placing human lives above technology, but those from the Maxim Brigade who had grown up within Brotherhood territory. They understood more than any other group, and following their disbandment after the war, went on to become a series of militias loosely associated with the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. Lieutenant Smith becomes a general. Okay, then. Okay, let's, we need to pause this. We have a lot going on now. What do we do? What do we do? Secure equipment. New California Republic gets an event, an offer from the Brotherhood that they can't refuse. Um, let's see, we got Lost Hills refurbishment, construction speed, Bay Area reconstruction, ads infrastructure, Ranger Paladins. Uh, ooh, Ranger Paladins. Desert Rangers add technology. And they get power armor. Hmm. Welcoming committee. Uh, some more Desert Ranger stuff. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell what it says down there. Welcoming committee. Kind of cut off. Uh, arms workshop. Arms workshop. Arms workshop. Ooh. Not bad. Building slots. Civilian workshops. Uh, Lost Hills Bunker adds two outposts, two infrastructure, more add technology, improved laser weaponry. That's good. That's good. Uh, Desert Rangers laser from lasers for men, more arms workshops. Bunker Blues Two grants factory bomb vulnerability negative eighty trade deal up negative eighty negative eighty effective partisans negative forty. Room to Grow, which grants monthly population plus one. Hey, not bad. Um, hangar construction, two air bases, civilian workshops, uh, National Spirit Drill Sergeants grants division training time negative 10%. Not bad. Fortress of Steel, two outposts, two radar stations. Desert Rangers, Navarro Scout Camp, all infantry and motorized, mechanized, breakthrough 7%. The Steel. Scribe Contractors, Common Energy Weapons for the Desert Rangers, plus Energy, or I'm sorry, uh, Power Armor. Good. That's good if we want to help build up uh, an alliance with the NCR. Um, outposts for Navarro, Develop Maxim Infrastructure, Outpost Purification Station, Maxim Outpost, Outposts, Anti-Air Air Base, Building slots, power station, not bad. Building slots, arms workshop, 10% uh, factory output, 2% recruitable population, dockyard expansion, coastal forts, naval bases. Um, let's see, uh, ooh, gunship costs and transport costs are down. 50. T-51B power armor. Ooh, that's actually pretty dang good. Zeppelin foundry. Uh, more tactical bomber equipment. Forbidden secrets. Ooh, X-01 power armor. Ooh. Ooh. That one might be good. I like that one. Vandenberg expedition. Gets the, an event. Okay, that might be actually cool. Vandenberg, forbidden weapons, forbidden weapons, plasma energy weapons. Ooh, I like that very much. 
Let's see what we got here. We got the blueprint recovery. 10% <clears throat> support unit research. Laser focus. Common energy weapons production. Uh, two times 50% research bonus land doctrine. Ooh, that actually sounds very good if I want to start doing land doctrine. Maintenance routines, production armor, uh, production costs on the power armor. Superior alloys. Replaces maintenance routines with superior alloys. Production costs down. Mutant ramblings. Land doctrine. Land doctrine and surge research. Tesla weaponry. Ooh, nice. Old world focuses. Replace laser focus foundry with old world focuses. Hmm. Simplified design. Common energy weapons, power management, sentry bot refurbishment. Ooh. Better hard and soft attack for sentry bots. That's not bad at all. The Mojave Veterans. Uh, looks like that's going to add custom tooltips. Elijah's Genius. Research time down. Hardens Tactics. Research, research time on Land Doctrine down. Food for Service. Recruitable Population. Boxing Drills. Uh, let's see. Division Recovery Rate 10%. Securitron software, better robot equipment, Mojave equipment, land doctor and research time, plus heat attrition down. That'd be good for fighting in the desert, I'm sure. Supply consumption down, soft attack, hard attack, defense for robots. If I'm going to go robots, then I'm absolutely going to have to go with this side. Building, civilian workshop. Uh, two arms workshops. No idea what that does. A sarsaparilla. No idea. Elder recalled. Mojave chapter joins the Brotherhood of Steel. Ooh, not bad. Repcon HQ. I don't know what that event will do, but that might be pretty cool. Um, common ground with savages. Common ground with savages. We get an event. Seize Arroyo. Claims on those. Camaraderie Union. Hmm. So they'll like us more. They'll join the Brotherhood of Steel. Politics will change to intellectuals. Hmm. So we either take it all by force, or we don't take it all by force, is what I'm getting here. So we'll see. We'll see. Trouble on the home front. Trouble on the home front event. We need to explore it or scrap it. Ooh. Um, strip the sub. <laughs> Or develop the slums. Hmm, more monthly population. That's good. Destroy hubology. Five national unity plus some resources. Or we encourage the civilian business. Uh, more civilian workshops and recruitable population. Expand private industry. More arms workshops, more recruitable population, curb raider aggression. Okay, we get an event. Steel rain. Uh, we declare war on the she. Establish the she chapter. She joins Brotherhood of Steel. Politics will change. So again, we take it by force if we don't. <clears throat> but it looks like these other ones are exclusive after that. We either demand the bay. Stolen secrets. Construction speed. Goss weaponry. Seize the military. Uh, I don't know what that does. Audience with the Emperor. Add technology. ZN85 fighter. Uh, cost weaponry, invertebrate schematics, hmm.
Hmm. Why would you ever go with this other one? Gains national spirit. That's only construction speed 5%. I, I don't understand what is going on here. <clears throat> oh, well, we'll deal with that when we get to it. Um, let's see. Internal restructuring. Remove old guard. Change the mobilization law to outsider recruitment. Oh, 6%. That's not bad at all. Uh, add production. Advanced communication. Sets 20% encryption. That's not bad at all. Wasteland conscripts. Oh, that's also not bad at all. That gives us quite a bit more recruitable population. Surface tensions. Can send volunteer forces. Hmm, not bad. <clears throat> we also have the Brotherhood expansion. Two building slots for all, all those states. Draw the sword. National spirit. Plus 1% population. Navarro or nothing. Division attack on core territory. That's not, not bad at all. Citadel of Steel. Soft attack, hard attack, defense breakthrough. Nice. Very nice. Old bonds. Joins New California Republic in their war against Kaisar's Legion. Recruit and drive. Logistical support. <laughs> Grant something, I don't know. NCR Forge. <clears throat> More building slots, more forges, new steel, power armor, equipment, production costs down, forge of victory, more building slots, ghoul recruitment, so you can recruit ghouls, but it reduces national unity, my goodness, victory or death, get an event. Okay, we got San Francisco Harbor, two naval bases. Underground hangers to air bases. So we choose whether we want to be sea or air, apparently. <clears throat> Fighters support close air support. Air combat lexicon for air doctrine. Air behemoths. Heavy aircraft fortress bombers. Uh, and that is strategic bombers. So we either heavy aircraft or strategic bombers. And the scourge. Uh, this focus currently has no effect. Changes in the world situation may affect this. Okay. So we got sea trials. Bonus for sea raiders. Heavy raiders. Ta uh, doctrines. Sea behemoths. Super heavy siege ships. Seaplane siege, siege ships. And the steel cage. Super heavy paddle steamer. Hmm. So, I mean, the real question is, what do we start with here? There's so much going on. I kind of think that we should do some internal restructuring, but what does the old guard, what does it do? I don't even have the old guard. Yeah, I don't have the old guard, so what, really? Hmm, general refused to become increasingly obvious that such things are unviable. Okay, well... I think I should start kind of making friends with uh, with the NCR since I'm surrounded by them. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's do this. An offer from the Brotherhood. Yeah. 
We'll just get that going there. Wait, are these guys training up? Let's just do one more, because I think they're training up really quickly. My goodness. Yeah, okay, let's crank it up to five. I wonder if these rivers block movement. They are really big. Ooh, Desert Rangers declared war on the jackals. My goodness, this is awesome. I like this. We've got Hidden Valley over here, Novak. So many different factions over there trying to fight for stuff. I wonder if the Jackals are going to hang out, uh, be able to handle their own against the Desert Rangers. I should try to get the, the She going too, like as soon as possible. Hmm. 